All right, now, before we begin in today's video, there's something that I want to get out of the way. Now, if you've been following my original Twitter account, you may have noticed that I put up a tweet longer, basically making my departure from that account to two new ones. And I know it's unfortunate, but like, if you read the tweet longer, you, I explained pretty much why I'm doing this. So, yeah, but the first one is my main account, which is SLP Starzy. That's where I'll be updating you all. And as for pretty good content, the second one is at Starzy, which will be my account for posting pretty good content, as well as updating you on pretty good videos that I upload. So I figured this would be the best way since it'll be easier for me to focus on both of my audiences here. Plus, it's better to make a fresh start whenever things aren't going your way, like the way you want it to. So if you would, please go follow either one or both of these accounts if you're interested in both. And the links will be down in the description below. So yeah, and with that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. Alright, so I'm just about ready to get into Yes Pretty Care 5, the video game, but I want to get this video out of the way first. Now I have been an absolute fan of Simon Kagura since late 2015. I was introduced it, to it by the YouTuber slash the voice actor Alejandro Saab, aka Kagi Films. One of the games he played was Simon Kagura 2 Deep Crimson, and when I watched that playthrough, I looked to see if it had an anime, cause you know, me being really curious on video games. You know, because certain video games usually have that one anime adaptation. That's how I found Neptunia, but in 2015, that's pretty much that's pretty much me going into San Kagura. And when I watched that playthrough, uh, I looked to see, like I said, I had I looked into see if it had an anime, and what do you know, it actually does. And I loved it so much. I really watched it, and I actually like it a lot. I watched it like twice or three times. I can't remember, but I did like I did watch it like more than once. It's a story of busty teenage ninjas from different schools who face off against each other. Now sign me the fuck up. Now, if it wasn't for Kagi's playthrough on Deep Crimson, I wouldn't have gotten into the series. Then 2019 would be the year where I would get into the Neptunia series just from watching the anime. And to this day, I'm still really, I'm still getting into, I'm still pretty much fans of both Simon Kagura and Neptunia. But the one thing that I've always wanted it was a crossover between the two. Now in 2012, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory would be released, and one of the characters in the game is Marvelous AQL, or Marvy for short. Uh, she's based off the company Marvelous, she's very similar to the main protagonist Asuka, and they're both voiced by Hitomi Harada. Then in 2014 to 2015, Tamsoft would collaborate with Kampaha on two Neptunia spin-offs. Hyper Dimension Neptunia U, Action Unleashed, and Mega Tag Mention Blonde. And a new character that was introduced in Mega Tag is Tamsoft, an actual character based off the company and is voiced by Cure Melody. Then in 2017, Simon Kagura Peach Beach Splash was released celebrating the 5th anniversary of the series. And in 2018, Neptune would become a DLC character, which was pretty great for Neptunia fans. But with all of these things happening, I was wondering, when will they actually do a proper crossover just like Neptunia did with the Sega Hard Girls? Now in March of 2019, a teaser image was shown which was called Game E Ninja Neptunia. Now there was nothing mentioned afterwards, there were no updates for almost two years and no news came up about it. But in March of this year, it finally happened.
here it is. After two years of it being announced, Gamey Ninja Neptunia was brought to life. Compile Heart showcased this new trailer on a Game Live Jap Japan livestream, and this ain't no ordinary Neptunia game, no. This is the long-awaited crossover with Simon Kagura, and of course I'm excited for its spin-off or main title. The game is called Simon Nin Nin Ninja Tyson Neptunia Sojo Taiji no Kyoin, which translates to Simon Nin Nin Ninja Great Noir Nin Neptunia The Girl Shine. Who knows, maybe they might actually change the title whenever it's released in 2022 in North America because this game is going to be coming out in 2021 for Japan. And you know, Seven Kago, this was actually not, th let me say, this is actually good timing because Seven Kago was really having a hard time. From Seven Kago, both we knew were being censored and having intimacy mode removed on the PS4, to the creator of Seven Kago leaving Marvelous, to the unknown fate of Seven Kago 7, and to the Kand Kandagawa Jet Girls video game not doing so well. Now, to a lot of fans, it felt like Seven Kago was going to fall off. And Neptunia will also suffer as well, though not as much as SK. Super Neptunia RPG can do well in sales, and people were really tired of the spin-offs. But what really pissed people off was that the title after Neptunia Virtual Stars is actually a definitive remake of We Both One, which is called Neptunia Reverse, which is set to be released in June for North America. I'm not really looking at that, considering that's the month when my birthday is, so what the hell. Not to mention that it's on the PS5, which is completely impossible to get at this point. Not to mention that nobody asked for this. Newcomers can still get into Rebirth or Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Those games still exist, so why even bother? Still, Neptunia's 10th anniversary felt really piss poor, but this crossover is something both fans can really enjoy. An article pretty much explains everything about this upcoming new crossover game. I'll leave a link to the article in the description below, but to read it out, this is what it says. Uh, today during the Game Live Japan livestream, Compound Heart presents a brand new game called Seven Ninja Ninja Tyson Neptunia Shoujo Taichi no Kyoin. It translates to Seven Ninja Ninja Great War Neptunia The Girl Shine. As you may have guessed, it's a crossover between Marvelous Cinema and Kagura series and Compound Heart's own Hyper Dimension Neptunia series. It's an action JRPG featuring both 3D and 2D gameplay, developed by Tamsoft and published by Compound Heart, coming in 2021, at least in Japan, exclusively for PS4. Incidentally, this is the game teased as Gamey Ninja Neptune all the way back in March 2019, two years ago. A brand new protagonist named Yuki will also be introduced, voiced by Miku Ito who previously voiced Kokoro Tsumaraki in Bang Dream and Miku Nakano in a Quintessinoto Quintuplets. The story is about a conflict among two ninja clans, obviously represented by the Neptunia and Seven Kagura girls, with a third clan of cyborg ninja coming to crash the party and attacking both camps. This marks the beginning of the Great Ninja War that will crown the strongest ninja school in the world. Interestingly, a minigame featuring hot springs and peaches will be featured. So pretty much, the story will be about a ninja war involving both the Neptunia and SK girls. I mean, we already seen this before in Naruto, so might as well do it. So it's actually pretty interesting doing it with both Simon Kagura and Neptunia out of all franchises. Then, they also show both the trailer and the gameplay footage, and from the looks of it, uh, you'll be able to switch between characters in battle, you can use signature moves and specials whenever your energy gauge is full, and how the boss fights or structure looks so marvelous. I love how you can also face self against cyborg ninjas, doggoos, and metal doggoos. Asuka's still in her normal shinobi form, but Purple Heart's rocking a ninja outfit that screams elegantly sexy, and the music is just...
My god, it's so good. I can't get enough of it. And I, I wonder if the game will show more characters in the future. Like Noir, Blonde, and Vert for Neptunia, and Homeworld, Miyabi, and Yumi for Simon Kagura. Plus the new protag, which is Yuki, for the game. It does sound pretty interesting, especially since she'll be voiced by Miku Nakano from the Quintessential Quintuplets. And thank god it's coming on the PS4 because I am not looking forward to another Neptunia game on the PS5, not unless if it's a main title, okay? Like I know some people still don't like Sony, and I understand that, but at least show Tamsoft and Compa your love for these franchises, regardless if the game gets censored or not. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't like censorship in my games, but it is what it is. Uh, more info will come out on April the 8th about this game, so we'll just have to wait and see, but what do y'all think? Are you excited for this upcoming crossover between these two franchises? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in my next video. It's slow, just wanna make sure that you're comfortable Call you my princess, I'm your prince Just to let you know, you're such a hottie, you could be